could possibly go wrong? What if you are not funny enough? Instead of roasting someone, we get roasted! Ah, <sighs> you're always chickening out. Come on! I'm getting stage jitters right now. Hello, the topic for tonight's roasting is Singapore herself and, well, aren't you an expert on it? You're always going on and on and ranting about your own country and now you're telling me you have no balls to go on stage? Yeah, well, kind of. Look, we got this. We are Tomboy T-Rod. And mind you, it's not pronounced tirade or tirade, but T-Rod. The way we like to say it on this no-holds-barred fortnightly podcast with a whole load of geek, drama and humour thrown into every episode. And we are Asia's biggest and only all-female English comedy chat geek podcast. You're right. Well, Fifty Shades are awesome. At least you are not using a rooster puppet like some show and tell over there. Hey, you watch it, huh? I can understand every word you're saying, okay? Wow, this rooster oh. talks. Of course I can talk. I'm Crispy the Talking Cock. I heard from you're from, you're from the, what, the third world country to the north, is it? Malaysia, right? And I am Cindy, his human sidekick. Did you really just insult us? Yes, um, but that, I mean, no. You know what? Crispy chicken kind of sounds really good. I might have that for dinner tonight. You know, give me crispy. Yeah. What are you saying, huh? Crispy? What? What? Dinner? You better not eat me, I tell you. And he is my sidekick. I need him for the show. Don't be greedy. Uh, well, no, she's just saying that, you know, you guys have the coolest name ever, right? Because this crispy, cool. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I can totally envision, you know, eating this for dinner. Like, it's mm-mm, la la, delicious. Great to meet you both, though, by the way. You know, I always like to get to know my guests that are going to be appearing on my dinner table soon. Hey, Rave, we need to discuss about these two. If we're going to win the comedy roast, hmm. I'm just trying my best here to, like, you know, warm them up. <laughs> Crispy the talking cop. I heard this was a paid gig, so that's why I decided to come down. And then uh, now, again, I find out I'm working for free. What's it nonsense, huh? Excuse me, are you Crispy the talking cop or are you. Do you go by your split personality name, Gary Ow? Oh, hmm. Gary? Oh, actually, that's uh, that's the that's me, lah. I'm the guy doing the voice line. That's right. So, guys, folks, listen up. Meet Esther Lowe and Gary Ow, the funny duo behind Singapore Stripped. A comedy roast of the Lion City. Woohoo! Hello. Build as the first comedy roast of Singapore, the show talks about local culture and history in a tongue in cheek way. Just the way we like it. And it's for audiences age 18 and older. So, sorry, kids. Get out. You're not wanted here. <laughs> but anyway, tell us more about your show, guys. It's an amazing educational show that will help you to feel love for Singapore, the country, our amazing motherland. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not so sure. Uh, we talk about all the filthy things, you know, like prostitutes hey, and spitting cookie. and littering. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? I, I, and I think... Singlish. We also talk about Singlish a lot. No? So I'm not sure it, it uh, will encourage love for Singapore. Uh. You know, I don't know. I, I, I've i heard about you guys for like a long time and you're pretty controversial. You guys live live on the edge, right, of Singapore, literally. Actually, uh, no, that's not true. I live in Jurong Bird Park because I'm the national bird. Oh, okay. And I live in a $500,000 HDB flat. Oh, that's quite what? a contrast. Wow. Yeah, well, better than living in the MRT tunnel that I'm living right now. Well, you know what, or even mm. at least they're representing the various, you know, segments of Singapore population. So I think they pretty much got it covered. Yeah. Yeah. Is a chicken considered as part of Singapore's population? Hey, I, I'm, st- I'm still living here, okay? I'm paying rent like you. I take MRT every day, what? What's the problem? I think it really depends on the number of chicken rice stalls in Singapore, seriously. <laughs> um... well, that, don't, I don't like this Malaysian. Right? Every time I talk about food only. <laughs> How much chicken rice you can eat one day? Huh? Do you have, what, you 50 packets one, one, one lunch time, is it you? Oh, dear. So, anyways, this, this is like, what? This is, why are you guys suddenly doing this really big, massive show? You know, what's, what's the whole, um, you know, deal with it it's a big massive show because we have a powerpoint projector la, so we decided to use it lo. yeah so what what is what are you going to roast exactly yeah uh, I, I... Apart, from, apart from some ministers or 
Actually, there, there is some mention of the Minister Mental, uh, and uh, we talk about... Did I just hear Minister Mental? We're actually not going to roast anything, Crispy. Please. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll <laughs> do exactly as Esther says. Oh dear. So we know who's the one in control in this relationship. Mm-hmm. Sounds like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> so anyway, how can we get tickets to your show, dude? Yeah, because we really, like... really want to go there and like, yeah. Especially if you guys call yourself the SG50 show that the government do not want you to see. Uh, you can buy tickets on uh, www.cystic.com.sg mm-hmm. That's one way you can do it. Huh? Okay. I thought I thought it must go farm to buy. <laughs> Lim Chu Kang farm. Uh, no lah, what farm? Singapore Lim where go? Singapore, yeah, Lim Chu Kang farm, you go there buy goat's milk lah. You know what I mean? You know what I, I wanted to actually say? I said I was thinking that since you're Crispy the Talking Cock, you know, you kind of missed out on a, on having a, a two-for-one deal with all the chicken rice stalls in, in town. I mean, like, dude, that would have been an awesome way to sell your tickets, man. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, the, you know, the truth is, I escaped from a chicken rice stall seller. So, you know... I see. Yeah, so uh, let, let's not go back to ancient history now, okay? Actually, we don't have a Facebook page for Crispy the Chicken, uh, come to think of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see you guys anywhere. Yeah, because he escaped, la, that's why we can't find info, is it? Okay, okay, I, t- I tell you what, I tell you what, tomorrow I'll, I'll have a Facebook page, la, okay? Just called Crispy <laughs> Chicken. Oh, yeah, can you please do your job? All right, all right. Yo. Hey, I'm struggling with the keyboard. I only got two wings, okay? <laughs> I thought you were so smart, huh? Every time I like, to argue with me, set up Facebook page, you so cannot. Yeah, I thought you got claws, one. I can type, one. Exactly, exactly. claws, a hey, you know, you think this is easy, is it? I'm, I have, I'm using my wings to type, okay? I think this, I mean, this, this rooster is a little bit odd <laughs> because, you know, yes. I thought you came fully equipped. <laughs> exactly. The only thing fully equipped on me is the cock, because I'm the cock, right? Yeah, so, yeah, how do we find you? Like, you know, I mean, when you're not on the run. You know, if you like running, why don't you run down to, like, the show? Yeah, we we open on 1st of April. Yay! Yeah. yeah! It's only less than two weeks away, and it's uh Wednesdays and Saturday nights. 8.30pm. 8.30. So, so which pub is it? Yeah. Paulana and Clark Key. So, how do nice. we find, how do the other chickens find their way to your place? <laughs> Google Maps. With great difficulty. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so, River, what are we going to be talking about today? Yeah, we're going to talk about a few topics. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, we'll go through our news highlights. We'll talk about how internet is excited by the supposed disappearance of uh, the Russian president. Whoa. Whoa! And Top Gear, um, Jeremy Clarkson being suspended by BBC. Jeng, jeng, jeng. We are not surprised. Singapore celebrating SD50 with a public holiday. Woohoo! Wow, one yeah. extra day. Oof. Oh, yeah. yeah Wishes, we just really dreams do come true, you know. Mm. And the roasting of our top tourist spots by the crispy, the talking cock, and Cindy, his sidekick. Yeah, so what are we waiting for? Let's get down to it. Yeah! Whoa. Woohoo! Okay. It's our first news highlight, and who are we pointing the news radar to? Of course, to the USSR. Vladimir Putin, or rather Lord Voldemort, had a rough week recently. Apparently, he cancelled a trip to Kazakhstan, shelved a treaty signing with South Ossetia, and skipped out on a meeting of top officials from Russia's Domestic Intelligence Service, the FSB. Why do they always try to be like Americans? Um... That's so not like him. And of course, naturally, the internet went completely mental um, as rumours swirled of a a botched Botox uh, operation, cancer, death. So um, what do you guys think he's been up to? President Putin unexpectedly disappeared from public view for several days. The Kremlin is dismissing rumors that President Vladimir Putin is ill. Rumors were circulating about the Russian leader's health, given that it had not been seen in public for at least a week. I I think the first problem is uh, when Ossetia tried to welcome Vladimir Putin, right? Yeah. The, the opening welcome song was uh, You put in your left foot You put in your right foot <laughs> In, out, in, out Everywhere you know. Put in, put in Yeah, you know, so, and I think he was a bit pissed off So he walked off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right I mean, that's, that's typical Russian for you, you know You must have just walked off with a vodka bottle, you know 
very comfortably, you know, lodged in between his legs. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I, this is not the first time he has done it, though. I mean, Vladimir has, is actually notorious for memes. And, he, and I, I believe that this is like the second time he's disappeared and gone undercover. Mm-hmm. He's pretty much like the Scarlet Pimpernel. You know? Yeah. That's because Vladimir Putin used to be a spy watch. He used to be the, the head of the KGB, FSB. Yeah, maybe he, maybe he took a week off to like do some performance in drag, you know, to let out his feminine side. Or maybe more realistically, he could be in Singapore, taking lessons from our esteemed PAP about how to get your citizens to comply with everything you say. Oh! Well, uh... Then Putin don't have to go around assassinating everyone. <laughs> Well done. That's the right way to do it, man. You better comply, I tell you. Easier than shooting down a plane. Any- anyway, normal people would cancel a, tr- a trip to Kazakhstan. Or it's also a third world country. Or. I bet over there, they can't even find a chair. I know, seriously. <laughs> but the girls in Kazakhstan are hot. That's true. That's what yeah. I heard. The yeah. chicks. Like some volleyball players. Yeah, Crispy, I'm sure you want to go there. Yeah, to look at some hot chicks. Or maybe because there's too many Borats in town. I don't know. Maybe he couldn't handle it. Yeah, so... Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> How much? <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah, he's completely disappeared. He's gone underground. I'm not surprised because basically, you know, like like we, we mentioned before, he is a spy and mm-hmm. spies like to do that, you know? Maybe this is just his way of, you know, taking an unofficial holiday. Yeah, that's probably the best thing for him like, because, you know, every time Russia is not on holiday, some countries will get killed, I tell you. Yeah, so he'll be, like, you know, half new, like, you know, no, shirtless, riding a horse somewhere into the sunset. No, I don't think Putin rides a horse. I think he takes a tank, you know? I don't, I don't see him as a horse guy, you know? Do you guys? I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's a horse guy. I think he's a whore guy. Yeah. But then he can be pretty cocky as well, right, Crispy? <laughs> Nonsense. I'm the cocky one. Uh. He's not even cocky. He's not even a bird, okay? You got to see his cock before or not, Crispy? Yeah, exactly. Did you see his cock? Let's uh, let's not see anyone's cock right now, huh? <laughs> I wonder how his cock would look like, yeah, if you think about it. Probably looks like a vodka bottle. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute. Ha <laughs> ha. Just keep it coming. Come on. Don't stop. Come on. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Don't stop. Just Come keep on. it coming. Come on. Don't stop. Come on. Okay, so we have Top Gear, which is like BBC's uh, most popular show for our second news highlight. Mm-hmm. So this show is worth 50 million pounds a year to the broadcaster, and it has a global audience estimated at about. 350 million in 214 territories. Like, no. Yeah, like, the whole world is watching it. But I think I must have missed out on something. So, earlier in March, because BBC suspended the, sh- the host, Jeremy Clarkson, for allegedly punching a producer. So, filming has stopped, and the remaining three episodes may not be at on the channel. Oh, and that caught trigger of a shitstorm. Clarkson has courted controversy a number of times on the series. He was forced to apologise after claims he used a racist word at the end of this nursery rhyme. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Please be assured, I did everything in my power to not use that word. Uh, well, actually, two questions here. Mm-hmm. Um, if he's being suspended, I want to know where from. Is he at Christian Gray's playroom being suspended in SNM <laughs> bondage scene? Second question. Um, why is it that when Jeremy Clarkson punches a producer, it's not called a punch, but it's called a fraca? Why, why such a fancy term? You know? I, I think there are some issues here. First of all, uh, Christian Grey's playroom is actually a dungeon. It's not a playroom. Yeah. That's what they forgot to tell you in the book and the movie, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, man. And then the second thing is, uh, it's pronounced fracas. Oh, it's fracas? <laughs> Yeah, it's pronounced fracas. <laughs> okay. Only only Jack S's like you pronounce things like that as fracas, Chrissy. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. That's the way things are, man. Sounds like fat ass to me. I don't know. Uh, why, why did Jeremy Clarkson punch his producer? I think it's because sometimes I also feel like punching my producer. <laughs> so don't you think that's correct? <laughs> 
<laughs> but yours is probably going to be called something else. Yeah, ours is going to be. If I punch my producer, it'll most likely be called a cock up. Cock yeah. up, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. I, I'm not surprised this is not the first time Jeremy Clarkson has been in, in hot soup. Um, mm-hmm. hot chicken soup <laughs> because hey, you watch it, are you? <laughs> this, I mean, this is not this is not even a poultry situation. I mean, seriously, this is something that has gone beyond uh, what what can be actually um, you know uh, just stated as uh, inflated ego. I mean, this guy has been hosting the show for fifteen years. Everybody likes the show because he represents something that the UK no longer has, which is, you know, the like, you know, grumpy old man who is like, you know, completely racist, completely prejudiced. He doesn't give a cock or a fuck about any anything. You know, he's not. So he's not what you're saying about, is yeah. he's the typical Englishman. Exactly. And he's the he's the last of the typical Englishmen, the one who mm-hmm. doesn't give an ass or an ass about anything. So you know, when when you push the limits too far, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. No wonder they fight lah. Englishmen so hard to get along with them. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Every time copy, complain, complain. <laughs> everything small thing not happy on is Angmo. <sighs> I tell you always like that one. I tell you. I know they just complain about the smallest thing, right? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe these standards are highly unacceptable. <laughs> Maybe that's why Singaporeans are like that. Are always complaining since we were under British colonial rule. Yeah, that's that's one Influence. theory. I yes, and particularly we were under a British colony, and they are extremely whiny, and and they can be whiny. They they're always grumpy, isn't it? So we just took it all on, you know. As for me, I don't know anything because I'm just an alien. I don't watch BBC. Actually, watch BBC, ah. Uh. What is BBC? Yeah. I only watch TVB and K drama. British British broadcasting cocks. I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's BBC stand. BBC stand for biggest best cock. Yeah, breaking it out cause you know I am So keep it on and on cause you know it don't stop I got to keep it coming Just keep uh, it coming, keep coming. Okay, moving on from Jeremy Clarkson in Top Gear Or should I say now at the bottom of the gear um, On August the 9th, Singapore is planning a big birthday to mark its 50th anniversary of independence um, we already have an ongoing year-long celebration in the lead-up to the actual day itself. And now, 7th of August has been declared a public holiday. So, we can all have a long jubilee Woo-hoo. weekend. Is the Queen coming? Is the I Queen coming? Know, maybe. <sighs> okay, which means that half of Singapore will be out of the country and probably annoying neighbours over at Johor. Right now, everywhere we go, we see like 50 ways to do this, 50 ways to spend your time, 50 ways to, I don't know, um, buy chicken rice, 50 ways to wear your socks, 50 ways on how to react to someone whose foot got caught in the gap of a train when it breaks down. Is anyone doing anything special for SG50? Yo, earlier in the show, we said we're doing our 50 Shades of Grey show. No, no, that's not us. That's some other po- That's some other person. That's the reason why people hang out at the causeway. It's because they don't want to enter yeah. your third world country. It's like a <laughs> shithole, man. Hey, but at least the shit smells better over here than it does over there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I go to your country, I take a dump and then I come home. <laughs> so maybe, maybe everybody spends so much money on marketing SG50 that they have no more money left for their own, the actual event. Like after, you're supposed to promote and then tell people about it. After that, no, like no energy to do anything. That's true also. Or maybe Singapore is all about talking cock but no action. Oh, talk cock, no action. Hey, that's my job, okay? You're a typical Singaporean, what? But what about the local stand-up comedy scene? Do you guys feel that it's going to have any impact on the, on 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 acts like yourselves or like any of your friends who are doing like stand-up comedy? Esther, who are your friends doing stand-up? <laughs> Actually, Crispy, you're my only friend. Aww. Aww. <laughs> because after having been associated with you, nobody wants to be my friend anymore. Well, that's that's definitely a valid argument. <laughs> We're not sure if we're going to have friends after this episode yeah. as well. I don't know. 
that's okay. At least you know you and I are still employed. That's a good one. <laughs> the last thing you want to be in Singapore is broke. Then we can just go to Malaysia. Uh, and join Persis. Yes, you can just hang out at my house. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'd rather not. Uh, you know what? I'm going back to the Jurong Bird Park. Yeah, because he's just he's just scared that he's gonna end up he's gonna end up on my dinner table. So you know how in Malaysia we like to do things very organically, right? Well, how much is your rent at Jurong Bird Park, ah? I don't That's pay good. rent, lah. I'm the national bird. I stay for free, okay? Do you remember you that the, na- the rooster becoming the national bird of Singapore? I don't remember this. Was it a crow? You don't anyhow talk out, huh? I'm the national bird, I tell you. You can call the minister mental and ask him, huh? But will you lay a golden egg for Singapore? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. a cock, not a chicken, lah. Can you make up your mind, not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not transgendered, Raven. I don't know, just checking. Although Singapore is known for its lady boys, huh? Do you like yeah. lady boys? Why would we like lady boys? They'll be our competitors. <laughs> yeah, but... But they also have cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no comment, I because I don't want my lady boyfriends coming coming over to my house and fracking me. <laughs> you can ask the sixty year old Indian comedian in a dress, lah. I don't know what's yes. his name. Yeah, I think it starts with a K, right? <laughs> don't anyhow say no. Later he come to your house and frack on you, huh? Singapore Street is going to be presented in the form of a tour led by Cindy and Crispy the Talking Cock. So we are going to play a game right now. Mm-hmm. So like you know, like on the, as if we're on the tour. So Persis and I will take turns bring out a place, a touristy place in Singapore, and these guys will just roast them one by one. <laughs> mm. Okay, so what's the first place? Okay, drums rolling. <laughs> Marina Bay Sands. Hey, uh, uh, Cindy, I don't understand. Uh, how come some idiot parked a boat on top? Huh? Well, it was built according to Feng Shui. <laughs> the way I thought it's like a shipwreck. Yeah, but I thought that the, the building is now now not doing well, right? So is it Feng Shui or Feng, feng Shui? <laughs> feng Shui, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I think the place is uh, very sway, uh, meaning unlucky for all you Ang Mos listening in. Uh. Exactly. So please, Ang Mos, please don't go there. Uh, don't, don't, don't rent a hotel room or don't book one because, you know, uh, we've heard stories. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, what's the next place? Don't waste time, you know. This show very, very expensive to run, eh? Yeah, well, okay lah, Orchard Road. Orchard Road. Hey, uh, Cindy, why don't you tell us that magical place on Orchard Road uh, that has four levels? Uh? What's it called again? Uh, uh Ion Orchard? No lah, the other one further up lah, the... Uh, uh, Borders? The one got all the lady boys one, lady boys. No, Borders closed down already. Uh... Wheelock? No, the, the one with all the lady boys. Uh, Liat Towers? Oh, Orchard Tower. That's right, man. By Woo! day, it's a mild-mannered shopping center <laughs> selling cameras, watches, and suits. But by, but by night, night, it becomes the Four Floors of Whores! Oh, wow. Yes, it is, doesn't it? I mean, there's a reason why in the daytime they sell all these crummy suits and watches because, you know, you just might need them. Mm-hmm. For the night time, right? It's so. For example, if you go there at like five in the evening, just you know, it's the best place to suit up for your night out at Orchard Towers, right? Yeah. Actually, for your night out, you just need to show the lady boy some money. Then they'll they'll show you everything else. <laughs> I don't know. Orchard Towers kind of sounds like a very bad comic superhero. You know, it's like Clark Kent, but he can't go into the phone booth and change into Superman. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 a it's a building with split personality. So yeah, we we love Orchard Towers. It's dysfunctional. Yeah, definitely it's... a place for crispy. Where all cops come up to play. Okay, I've got my third place. Are you ready for this, guys? Yeah. Gay Lang. Gay Lang is it for gay people or what? Huh? What's this? Definitely a place for crispy. Someone as dysfunctional as he is. It's for it's for also very gay happy people. Mm. <laughs> Hey, I, I heard I heard Geelang uh, is a place where you're free to have sex with prostitutes, right? No, it's not free. What are you thinking? Yeah, everything in Singapore must pay. Uh. So basically, you're, it, it's not free to have sex with prostitutes at all. Man. Everything must pay. No money, no honey, ma. Pay and pay. Prostitutes 
have self-esteem as well and they also need to pay rent in Singapore. But what other rumours have you heard about Geylang besides that? I thought it was just a place a lot of foreigners hang out, right? <laughs> Our foreign talent. <laughs> I heard Geylang has the best whole fun. Lots of whole, lots of fun. Fun, right, yeah. And we consider them foreign talent. That's fantastic, isn't it? We're progressing nicely for 50 years, you know. Previously, I mean, 20 years ago, you have this kind of talent, you they wouldn't even see them. But now they're being considered... I found Crispy you know, at Geylang. All right. I'll give you the S pass, you know, S this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the S pass is spelled A S S. Okay, next place, Hopa Vela. Wait a minute, didn't that place close down already? No, it's still there. You know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a reminder to kids that you know if you don't obey your parents, mm-hmm. either you get caught by the mata or you will end up in eighteen levels of hell. Uh, I I understand Hopa Villa is the weirdest tourist attraction in Singapore. Why don't I yes. let Cindy take over on this one? Cindy, tell us about Hopa Villa. <laughs> it's a theme park based on Chinese hell. Really? What's Chinese hell? A fancy Chinese restaurant that doesn't serve roasted dog. Oh. No, in Chinese hell, dog eats you! Another version of Chinese hell is you're stuck in uh, China and you lost your passport. Uh. That's like Chinese hell or so, you know? <laughs> Yo, that is... There was yeah. many levels, man. The 121 level. That's the new modern version of a Chinese hell. Or oh, another Chinese hell is you gamble at Marina Bay Sands and you lose all your money and you have no money to pay rent anymore. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Seriously. Oh, or oh, the biggest one for me, seeing a mom asking her kid to like, you know, pee in a plastic bag. That's another kind of Chinese hell. Completely fresh kind of madness. Yeah. I think Hopa Villa should include include th- those acts in, in, in its like daily events, you know, like a daily attraction kind of thing. Hmm. Or, or, or you have Chinese uh, tourists on a plane. That's also another level of hell. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they, you, they don't like you. They will just like, you know, take your <laughs> instant noodles and pour it over head. They will just open the cabin door to get out of the plane faster. Or maybe another version of Chinese hell is to study for PSLE and O-levels in Singapore. <gasps> And then you get A's for everything except for Chinese D7. You can't make it to JC. Which brings us to which brings us to the next location. If you do fail your PSLE, your mom might just throw you here, which is the Night Safari. Night Safari is a scam, I tell you. <laughs> yes, it is. Why is it a scam? For me, it's like, dude, I'm legally blind. If I go to Night Safari, I ain't gonna see a thing. Oh, you're blind. Uh. Then I tell you, there's, there's no difference because there's no animals at the night safari. It's completely exactly. dark. Exactly. Exactly. So that's that's why it's the biggest scam because you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> then what about the Singapore Zoo, the daytime zoo? Uh, the zoo. Uh, uh, actually, that one cannot bluff uh, because uh, daytime <laughs> you can see all the animals. Uh. It's, very exactly. po- it's very popular with PRC tourists, you know. Yeah. Why? Is it because they can they can connect very closely to their relatives, their closest relatives? Or what? No la, because PRC enjoy animals served piping hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do, right? Yeah. Uh, the problem, the problem now so bad. Ah, uh, the zoo got a slogan. Uh, hey, PRCs, it's a zoo, not a buffet. <coughs> Our next rooster is here to talk cock about Singapore. We welcome to stage our next competitor, Crispy the Talking Cock, and Cindy his human sidekick. Hey, uh, looks like it's our turn to go on stage. Huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, Ayo, finally, yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's a lot of fun talking to you both, and we should catch up soon. Yeah, have a great show, guys. Break a leg, or two. Like, for real. <laughs> Wow, crap! They are killing it! Shit, that's so freaking funny! We need to do something fast! Come on! So, uh, what do you think of our uh, show? Help! Help! What are you doing? Help! Help! Wait, what's this? What? What's going on? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? I am getting rid of the competition! <laughs> uh, wait, wait, I thought you said we are really the best, so why are we worrying about these guys? 
I know, yeah, we are, but you know, we can always improve our chances. Now let's get rid of this crispy fried crap. Jeez, Persis, you're always getting us into all sorts of trouble. Ooh. Hey, are you are you coming or not? Because I don't have the time. Bye. Okay. Oi, wait, wait, wait. Oi, oi, wait for me. Oi, oi. Hey, Tom Boyce, have you seen Gary? He's supposed to be on stage for the encore now, but I can't find him. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 shit. Mm. Um, no, Esther, uh, why did you try looking over there? Yeah, yeah, right over there. Help me, Cindy, help, help! Uh, why is your haversack moving? Uh, uh, we're in a hurry. Look, yeah. yeah. Talk to you later. Yay, okay, catch up soon. Bye. 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 Morris have kidnapped Crispy! Oh, that was exhausting! And I dropped Crispy on his head! Whoops! I'm sure he'll be fine. Dude's a tough cookie. And they probably won the whole damn thing by now. Gah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode of Tomboy T Rod, don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes and Stitcher and give us feedback, y'all. Give us feedback! We've also got a great website with everything you want to read about being a tomboy in today's world. Check it out at www.tomboy-tarts.com. And if you just want to connect with us outside of the show, we are also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Tumblr. Just type Tomboy Tarts. Yes, and if you have any inquiries about advertising, collaborating, or appearing on this podcast or our blog, drop us an email at tomboy.tarts at gmail.com. Because we are everywhere! 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 everywhere. everywhere. Yo, 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 everywhere! Yo, what's up, everywhere? What's up? So until the next two weeks, ciao, ciao. And, and adios, adios. Amigos. amigos.